All right, welcome back everyone. It is 647 this Saturday morning, taking a live look over Bar Harbor. Pretty nice morning out there, but it is cold. Just be warned if you do head outside, gonna wanna bundle up. If you think it's cold now, Chloe, whew, <laughs> just wait until this afternoon. Exactly, it's gonna get even colder. Wind chill? Wind chill, and there's a cold front that passed through, so like the cold temperature slowly followed behind that. Uh. You're welcome. See, si that master's paid off, you guys. <laughs> All just for cold air. Good morning, everybody. Temperatures to start off are right around freezing right now. This cold air up here that's in the pink shade is going to start to work its way here as we go through the rest of your day because we had a cold front that passed through. Luckily, it's going to be nice and sunny. There is still some clouds outside right now, but they're pulling off to our east. They're also dissipating. There's really no precip other than a few flurries left over in coastal Washington County. Really going to start to look like a really nice Saturday as we go through the rest of it. We're going to see this low cold front moving out of the way that we we're just talking about. That's allowing cooler air to move in from Canada and behind it. It's also trying to rush in to fill that space, so it's going to be quite windy here as well. And on Monday, that's the next best chance for any precip, but really not seeing much of anything. Maybe a few snowflakes or a few raindrops. A lot of nothing there. The real precip is going to have to wait until Wednesday to come through with another low that's starting to move towards our area. As it does, it's going to stay warm enough where we'll actually see it staying as rain as it moves through. For your day today, though, lots of sunshine in the forecast. It's going to be really nice, pleasant Saturday out. Out there. We are going to cool off here as that cold air moves in as we get into the afternoon and stays clear tonight, allowing all that heat to escape. By tomorrow morning, temperatures are going to be the single digits, feeling like the negatives for a lot of us by that point. So you can expect a cold start to today tomorrow, but Overall, really great weekend coming up with lots of sun out there. Those winds pick up a little bit more here as we head into the second half of it. So we're going to see wind gusts around 30 miles an hour here at times. So it is going to really be noticeable when you walk in the wrong direction. You'll feel it hitting your face. You're going to notice it here as you head through the rest of your Saturday. And as we look into the temperatures, because of that, feels like it's going to be a bit lower out there as well. It's going to be a cold, feels like kind of breezy day lucky if we get these temperatures out there in the teens overalls where it feels like they're going to end up but probably a lot lower than that as you go through the day single digits for some of us as well so generally just expect a cold and sunny pleasant day the reason we're seeing that though is going to be because we have a system that how it's moving through is actually allowing everything to really just have some cold air moving in from the north now then some warmer air starts to move in after that which we're seeing on monday tuesday and wednesday wednesday especially 53 degrees. I mean, we're really going from cold to very mild here as we get to your day. And then it's going to just drop right back off to average temperatures by Thursday. But overall, not looking too bad. Along with those warm temperatures, though, is going to come the same time as the precip. So instead of being anything frozen, we're going to see it staying as rain as that moves through. So a rain filled hump day next Wednesday, going to kind of be that general day. Could see a couple snowflakes at the end of that, but I wouldn't really expect to see much at all in that home front. Seas for your day today at four to eight feet for your marine forecast winds with gusts up to 35 knots on the water out of the northwest. Also, a small craft advisory issued until tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Rest of the week not looking too bad either. Lots of sunshine for generally most of the week. I mean, there's a couple days in there with a few more clouds. We have some rain on Wednesday. It'll be breezy as well, but I mean, generally not too much to complain about. All right, we will take it, Aaron. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. All right, well there.